on March 20, 2020. Um, I'll lead tonight and Jody will read. Uh, you folks can follow along just listening, or even better, you could follow along in your prayer book, or maybe even better is um, up in the top right-hand corner, you can see the, um, the order for the service. There's a link there that'll bring you right to the document. So I'll give you a second to do that and to get yourself together. And I'll get myself together too. <laughs> Are you ready, Jody? I am. Okay. Light and peace in Jesus Christ our Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus said, You are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hid. No one lights a lamp to put it under a bucket, but on a lampstand where it gives light for everyone in the house. And you, like the lamp, must shed light among your fellow men, so that they may see the good you do and give glory to your Father in heaven. Let us pray. Almighty and most merciful God, kindle within us the fire of love, that by its cleansing flame we may be purged of all our sins and made worthy to worship you in spirit and in truth. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The candle. Oops. You, you want to run and get it? Nah. Let's everybody go get our candles right okay. now. <laughs> A little awkward. While she's getting that, we can just go ahead and start the Fos Hilleron. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Our psalm tonight is Psalm 91. We'll say it together. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High abides under the shadow of the Almighty. He shall say to the Lord, You are my refuge and my stronghold, my God in whom I put my trust. He shall deliver you from the snare of the hunter and from the deadly pestilence. He shall cover you with his pinions and you shall find refuge under his wings. His faithfulness shall be a shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of any terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, of the plague that stalks in the darkness, nor of the sickness that lays waste at midday. A thousand shall fall at your side, and, and ten, ten thousand, thousand at, at your right hand, hand. but it, it shall not, not come near you. you. Your, your eyes have only to behold to see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord your refuge and the Most High your habitation. There, sh there shall no evil happen to you, neither shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the adder you shall trample the young lion and the serpent under your feet. Because he is bound to me in love, therefore will I deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I am with him in trouble. I will rescue him and bring him to honor. With long life will I satisfy him 
and show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The reading for tonight comes from the Gospel according to Mark. When evening came, the boat was out on the lake, and he was alone on the land. When he saw that they were standing, straining at the oars against an adverse wind, he came toward them early in the morning, walking on the lake. He intended to pass them by. But when they saw him walking on the lake, they thought it was a ghost and cried out, for they all saw him and were terrified. But immediately he spoke to them and said, Take heart, it is I. Do not be afraid. Then he got into the boat with them, and the wind ceased, and they were utterly astounded, for they did not understand about the loaves, but their hearts were hardened. When they had crossed over, they came to land at Gennesaret and moored the boat. When they got out of the boat, people at once recognized him and rushed about that whole region and began to bring the sick on mats to wherever they heard he was. And wherever he went, into villages or cities or farms, they laid the sick in the marketplaces and begged him that they might touch even the fringe of his coat, and all who touched it were healed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We'll say the canticle, the Song of Mary, together. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Together, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. <clears throat> Brothers and sisters, we serve a loving God and so have the courage to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages be. that this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. We entreat you, O Lord, that your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. 
We entreat you, O Lord. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. We entreat you, O Lord. That there may be peace to your church and to the whole world. We entreat you, O Lord. That we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. That we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. The collect of the day, Almighty God, you know that we have no power in ourselves to help ourselves. Keep us both outwardly in our bodies and inwardly in our souls, that we may be defended from all adversities which may happen to the body and from all evil thoughts which may assault and hurt the soul. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A collect for aid against perils. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. A collect for the presence of Christ. Lord Jesus, stay with us, for evening is at hand and the day is past. Be our companion in the way, kindle our hearts, and awaken hope that we may know you as you are revealed in Scripture and the breaking of bread. Grant this for the sake of your love. Amen. Amen. A prayer for mission we'll say together. Keep, Keep watch, watch, dear Lord, Lord with, with those who work or watch or weep, weep this night, and, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. You may offer your prayers and petitions at this time aloud, or you can write them in the comment box. I invite your prayers for God's people throughout the world, for the church and for all ministers and people. Pray for the church. We pray for our Bishop Wayne, the presiding Bishop Michael, the ABC Justin. I invite your prayers for peace, for goodwill among nations, and for the well-being of all people. Pray for justice and peace. We pray for our lawmakers, for all elected officials, for wisdom, strategy as they seek to mitigate the, um, the ripples from COVID-19. I invite your prayers for the poor, the sick, the hungry, the hurting, and all those in any need or trouble. Pray for God's healing to come. Pray for those without any home, for children who are hungry, for those experiencing economic injustice, for all those who are sick with COVID-19, and all those who take care of them. I invite your prayers for all those whom we love but see no longer. Pray for all those who have died. We pray for Bill, for Mel and Grace, for Marie and Chris. I invite your prayers of thanksgiving for God's many blessings. Pray your prayers of thanks. 
Thank you for St. Philip's Episcopal Church, Church of the Holy Trinity in Manistee. For the vestries of both of those churches, for the wardens, for the staff, Colleen, Larry, Paula, Nancy, We'll continue giving thanks through the general thanksgiving. We'll say it together. Almighty God, Father, Father of all mercies, mercies we, your unworthy, unworthy servants, servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ for the means of grace and for the hope, hope of glory. And, and we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be, be honor, honor and glory, glory throughout all glory. ages. Amen. Amen. We'll say the next prayer, a prayer of St. Chrysostom, together. Almighty, Almighty God, God, you have, you have given, given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And, and you have you promised, promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three, or three are gathered together in his name, you, you will be in the midst of them. them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Jesus Christ forever and ever. Amen. Amen. No evening prayer tomorrow night with us, but I think that there's a long list of uh, other folks you can join. In fact, there's Compline tonight at 8 o'clock. I'm not sure who's hosting that, but you can find that on the Diocesan page. Um, Sunday morning we'll have a morning prayer, and Jody has a sermon. She's been working on it for weeks. <laughs> weeks. Yeah. It's going to be dynamite, so you're going to want to check it out 10 o'clock Sunday morning. I wish we could gather together, um, and this is going to have to be the next best thing until we can get back together in person. Um, feel free to share this with folks that would benefit from it. Um, take care of one another. Be salt and light. Amen. Amen.